Lake today. Yeah. The Honorable Member for Thunder Bay Rainy River. Mr. Speaker, the CBC is on the verge of massive cuts to the service that it provides Canadians in every corner of this country. But these cuts are avoid avoidable because the CBC has a reasonable plan for addressing this crisis through bridge financing. Now, the minister claims he was never approached for bridge financing, but this is not true. He was asked directly, and he said no. Jobs are on the chopping block in Thunder Bay, Sudbury, Sydney, and elsewhere right across this country. Why has this minister put the future of public broadcasting and local programming at risk by refusing CBC's request for bridge financing? Honourable Minister of Canadian Heritage. Well, Mr. Speaker, of course, here's the problem with the NDP's position on the CBC. In 2004 and 5, the, this, this parliament increased funding for the CBC, they voted against. 05, 06, increased funding for the CBC, they voted against it. 06, 07, increased funding for the CBC, they voted against it. 07, 08, increased funding for the CBC, they voted against it. 08, 09, increased funding for the CBC, they voted against it. 09, 10, we've increased funding for the CBC, they voted against it. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Example of the Pinocchio principle because he's sitting.